there, everyone. It's the Municipal Man of Mystery here. And today we are talking about the new Singular Sound Beat Buddy plugin for your DAW. This covers again an issue we covered a while back in tutorial 13, which has to do with MIDI mapping. So if you'd like a little background on that, you should check that one out as well. Let's address the first questions up front. Why do I want this and what is it used for? Well, if you are like me, you create your own beats or you do a lot of editing for the beats for your beat buddy, you might be using a DAW, a digital audio workstation like Logic, Pro Tools, maybe GarageBand or Ableton or something like that. And you will have noticed a workflow problem. That is, you're sitting here, your computer is in front of you, you're working away, your beat buddy, however, is over there on your pedal board and you need to connect them so that you can hear the results of what you are working on in real time. Otherwise, there are a number of steps in the middle there that can make the process really slow and aggravating. The plugin takes that problem out of the equation, and it's a really nice feature, and I'm really glad they've done this because it's a real game changer for someone like me. The BeatBuddy plugin is an emulator that moves the sampler onto your computer so that you can hear what you're working on in real time. Keep in mind that the Beat Buddy is a sampler. It's like any other instrument that uses MIDI. The difference, of course, is that the Beat Buddy is hands-free and you operate it with your foot, which is one of its main features. But what that means is it's an outboard device. And you need to know how the sampler is arranged so that whatever you're working on or whatever arrangement you're using will sound the way that you want it to sound when you play it. So this is uh, where this uh, plugin comes in and has solved this issue. If you go to municipalman.com, click on store, you will find a growing selection of MIDI backing tracks for your favorite songs and genres that come Beat Buddy ready, all at great prices. A fast and secure payment, an immediate download, and you are good to go. The point though is every drum kit sounds a little different and every sampler sounds a little different. And if you'd like to hear a comparison of the Beat Buddy drum kits, uh, check out tutorial 17. I have a volumes lab there and I run through that and that will give you a little more uh, insight into this. In the past though, before this plugin, you had a couple of methods of listening to your work. Uh, one was to export the loops put it into Beat Buddy Manager, add it to a project, take the SD card out, put it in your pedal, listen to it, and hope that it sounded good. So that process is pretty untenable. It's too time consuming and aggravating. The next choice was to use a Bluetooth dongle, and this is what we cover in tutorial 13, if you wanna see how that works. This allowed you to connect your computer to the Beat Buddy so you could hear the output as you were working. The new plugin even takes that step out of it and makes it much more immediate. Right, now that we've covered the uh, advantages and some of the background, let's get the plugin and add it to our DAW. The plugin is still in beta mode, so the link is a little hidden, it's not quite public. I've put the link below in the comments, you can find it there, but I will open it up for you here and it will take you to the forum post that David Pakus, the creator of BeatBuddy, has made, and you'll see it here. There's a download link, and that will take you to a OneDrive account where you can download the installation package, and then you go through the installation process like any other app that you add to your computer. This all went very seamlessly, by the way. I had no trouble doing this. Don't know how that works with other DAWs of uh, getting a plugin onto the software, but with Logic it went quite seamlessly. Once you have done that, you have to make sure that it has been validated and it is ready for use with your software. With Logic, you're going to go to Settings and you go down to Plugin Manager. You will see the list of plugins you have for your software. Find Singular Sound, look for Beat Buddy Emulator, and you'll notice mine is successfully validated and it's ready for use. 
Now keep in mind this is an instrument plugin, not an effects plugin, so it's going to go into the input part of the track that you are using. If I create a new track, I want to hit Software Instrument. So the plugin is like any other instrument you use with MIDI. It could be horns or drums or uh, a keyboard. And this is just another instrument that you're going to apply to the track. All right, find the input portion of your track, and you'll notice you can add instruments. It took me a little digging to find it, but it was actually located here under AU Instruments, Singular Sound, Beat Buddy Emulator. And then the interface pops up. So this has most of the common features. You can sidechain it. It has a mixer for the different parts of the drum if you want to use it for recording or hear how it sounds at different levels, of course, and it has an input level meter. One thing you have to do, though, is to point the app to the drums that you have saved on your computer for your Beat Buddy. So there's a directory there, and you will find in your um, workspace, or wherever you store it on your computer, the drum sets. Here are my list of drum kits. Mine might be a little different to yours. But once you have done that, you will find the drop down here and you can see your list of drum kits and you can choose the one you want to use for the arrangement. All right, let's go back to the MIDI mapping issue we were talking about earlier. I've got a couple of tracks here and uh, a few drum kits open. And if I choose one and I go to the editor, you can see that the uh, parts of the drum kit are laid out and they are correlated to a position on the keyboard and those are related to a MIDI number and that's what we mean by MIDI mapping. It's where the, the part of the sampler is located on the MIDI map. And then what you do is you are telling the sampler to play a note at that time, at that place and in that way. So the MIDI information uh, tells the sampler to play something. But you have to make sure that the note that you play in MIDI is aligned with the sample that you want to hear. It's very common that the kick is at position C1 on the piano. It doesn't have to be that way, it just usually is, which is good because that means most drum kits will play it in the same way. But what we're going to see is that Every drum kit sounds different, and they may be arranged differently. If I play this loop here, it sounds like this. Now these two drum kits are both Logic drum kits, so they are arranged the same way. However, the samples are different in sound. But if I play this same loop on the 808, the first thing you will notice is that the snaps take the place of where the cowbell is. So you can see how if you were arranging something for your beat buddy, you need to make sure that your arrangement aligns with the drum kit that you want to play on your beat buddy. And now with the emulator, you can hear that happen in real time. And that's the true advantage. So if I play this same loop, I have the standard Pro Kit selected so I can hear how it's going to sound in my pedal. Right, so. <clears throat> If that's all good and clear, we can jump over to the Beat Buddy Manager, and you can see that the emulator they provide here, which we've all used, is basically the same idea. It's just playing the loop as you want to hear it. Here's that same MIDI loop we just listened to on the standard Pro Kit.
and you can hear that it sounds the same. So that begs the question, why don't I just do all of this editing and arranging on the BeatBuddy Manager? And you can, it has an editor, it's right here. However, the interface on the BeatBuddy Manager is not nearly as easy to use as a DAW, especially if you're doing complex arrangements and you're maybe doing a whole song. That can get very tedious pretty quickly. The editor here is good for making quick adjustments or changes to velocity or moving some notes around if you would like to make a change on one loop. But I wouldn't want to do a lot of work on it. I would find it too tedious. However, it does save the step of having to re-export and import the loop into the manager. Having said that, the editor on the online version is a big improvement over the editor on the desktop version. Don't even get me started on that. I've just abandoned it altogether. So it's nice that they're thinking about this and making all of these improvements. It's really been a, a big step up for uh, using your beat buddy. For anyone who is creating beats and does a lot of arranging like this, you probably already know this, but let's walk through the export process just for everyone's benefit. If you have a MIDI loop here and you want to add it to a song and a project in BeatBuddy Manager, you have to export it first. So with the loop selected, make sure that it's in the number one position at the front of the track. If it's back here, the export will include all of this space. So we wanna make sure that it's in position one. If you're using a Mac, you can hit Option Command E on your keyboard, or you can go up here, go down to Export, and choose Selection as MIDI File. Okay, and then you can save it in a folder, and you can see that I have all of the loops for this song saved in this folder, and I would import those into BeatBuddy Manager, add them to a project, and I can save the project sync it to my SD card, put the SD card in the pedal, and it's ready to play. Well, I hope we've covered all the main points. If I have missed anything and you still have questions, put it in the comments, I will get back to you. And if you have anything to share from your own experience, put it in the comments as well for everyone's benefit. You might wanna like and subscribe and hit the notifications bell because I'm always putting up new stuff. And I wanna thank you all for joining today. We'll see you next time, take care.